When we were kids, we grew up skateboarding and we were constantly changing our hair color and messing around and kind of just seeing what we could get away with. Most of the time looking ridiculous, but it was a way to express ourselves and, you know, express creativity. We scouted a lot of different places, like looked everywhere from San Clemente to Lake Forest, like up and down the coast. When we found this place, we were so excited and uh, we came in and, and uh, it was old and run down and dilapidated, but uh, I could see the bones and I, could, it, I was really excited because I could see what it could be. And so at that point, we, we just tore it down to the studs, started over and built it up. I'm really proud of what we've made. We really wanted to be a part of physically building the salon ourselves. We have like a lot of pride in saying that, you know, we literally built the salon. After high school, I started studying photography, got into fashion photography, and worked close with hair and makeup artists. And I would see the transformations that they would make on the, the models that came in, and it was fascinating, and it just, kind of resurfaced that interest of hair back to when we were kids, that I think I could do that. I've been doing hair for over 10 years. Like it just, for me, was always a progression of when I was a teenager. When I was graduated high school, it was something that I always was like, interested in. I love the creativity of it. The idea of going to a trade school, getting to work with my hands, and like get to see the outcome of what I had done was like really exciting. Our friends Josh and Jason Welsher, old friends of mine, have a company called To Die For and we had talked with them early on about helping us with our branding and uh, you know we wanted something kind of traditional and classic with a bit of a twist, like a modern twist and so working with Josh on the logo we came up with a California hair salon, Drew and I knew we wanted to incorporate that so we just think he knocked it out of the park, he did a great job. It took a lot of preparation and a lot of work to get into the space itself, but when we got into the space, the ball was rolling and everything happened like bam, 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 bam. I can't believe all the hard work, all the late hours finally come together and then this is our baby. Those were actually wooden shipping pallets that were behind Aaron Brothers and Bed Bath & Beyond that we collected over a few months and then uh, broke them down, deconstructed them, sanded them, stained them. The wood theme didn't happen by accident. I mean, Drew and I are uh, big nature buffs. We love hiking and camping and being outdoors. So when we were creating this space, we wanted to, to bring in some of those natural elements. So then we were looking for a color to kind of offset that and Druid came up with mint green, which I wasn't sure about and we started playing around with it and it was just the perfect fit. We just wanted to create an open, clean salon. A few people have referred to it as rustic modern. We agree, it's, it's got a rustic feel but it's still warm and, and comfortable. It's fun being a, you know, an owner. Now we can kind of be as creative as we want to be. We can push the limits and uh, see what we can get away with, but at the same time staying connected with more traditional styles that are timeless.
it's an amazing feeling seeing this thing come to life. To uh, see these ideas that we had on paper and thoughts that we've had in the back of our mind for literally years come to life and to be able to show up to work and and uh, see people here you know working and the phones ringing and you know it, it's just indescribable. We saw a lot of progression and it kind of had to be patient at the end of it it's just the it's honestly it's a wow and an aha moment. The result of it is like completely mind-blowing. Neither of us will ever forget. Like every morning we still come in and just go, I can't believe that this is ours. It's a dream that we've both had for a really long time and to see it come to fruition and just get to experience and live it every day. It's something about when I'm when I'm working on a client and I hear the phone ring. It still gets me every time, you know, because it's, you know, this dream come to life and now it's not just you know, me and my friends understanding it, but like the community is responding to it. It's, it's a really cool feeling.